guys, welcome back to Little Piece of Heaven Farm. I'm Cheryl, and this is Farron. And today we're making chocolate syrup. And we're going to can that up. So let's get started. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, first we're going to do is put in six cups of sugar. <coughs> three cups of cocoa powder and I have sifted both cocoa powder and the sugar go ahead and mix that up And then we're going to add three cups of water. And we're going to turn on the oven to like a medium high. And just keep stirring that. And we'll come back when it's almost ready. And you can notice it's thickening up as Farron stirs it. I always use them when I have a tall pot so I don't have to drag a step over to the stove because I'm kind of short. So it's stirring, stirring. It's still, you can hear it a little bit, it's kind of gritty. The sugar hasn't quite melted yet. So we'll bring this up uh, up to close to a boil and then we'll bring you right back. Okay guys we're back. It's starting to heat up now. I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of salt which is we use the pink Himalayan salt. You can use any salt that you desire except for an iodine salt you don't want that in there you make a ugly product uh, so use any salt but an iodine product so keep stirring and at this point it's getting getting really nice and bubbly and thick um, go ahead and take it off take it off the well no we'll, we'll turn it down a little bit just a few more minutes. Turn it down to like a medium low to a medium uh, to a low. I have it on my stove to about three and a half. And then you just keep stirring that for about another 5-10 minutes and I'll set the timer. And we'll be back in a jiff. Okay, the 10 minutes is up. And now we're going to be adding 2 tablespoons of vanilla. And Farron does have it here on the burner, but I have a little strainer that the pot's sitting on so it, the pot's not getting hot. I'm going to add the two tablespoons of vanilla. Okay, and we do have our canning jars in the oven. And we'll start canning that up. Okay guys, we're going to fill up our little jars to an inch head space, which is right about here. Oh, you can't see it. And we're filling up, filling it in hot jars. And 
we have our canner on. And to let you guys know, this is a Rebel Kenny. And for you new people, it means it's never been approved by the USDA. So you can this at your own risk. Because there's always a little bit of Rebel in everybody. Why not? And I figure I put that disclaimer in just in case. All right, we're going to fill up the rest of these jars that we have in the oven. And we'll come right back. And you always clean your rims. I'm using a paper towel that has vinegar on it. And these jars are piping hot. Okay, after you got them all nice and wiped down, then you start putting your lids and rings on. And just put them on finger tight. And we'll put them in the canner. And we're going to put them in the water bath canner for 20 minutes. I'll come back when they're finished processing. Okay guys, I'm back. And the timer went off. So everything is ready to come out of the, the canner. Then I'll let it sit here for a few minutes. So we can get uh, the cans out, or the jars, I should say. And they look pretty good. Nice and rich. Looks like I might have a little bit of siphoning, but that's okay. It happens.
always pull these jars up straight up. And don't worry about the water on the top. You don't want to tilt your jars to get the water off. You can break the seal that way. And I'll show you what I normally do. I usually have another tea towel around. And I'll just block my lids if, it, if this water bugs you. Sitting on top of your jars. But this is our canning episode. We got eight half pints of chocolate syrup. And that's pretty pretty good. And they're already starting to pop. Anyway, um thanks for stopping by today and hope Hopefully you'll try your hand at canning some chocolate syrup. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.